CNN blowing up its morning show next after Brian Stelter firing. A report. Let's read. CNN Brass is reportedly planning to shake up the network's morning show, New Day, as its next move following the abrupt dismissal of ex-anchor Brian Stelter. And also Tug and Tubin was also let go. Uh, CNN President Chris Licht is set on blowing up the morning programming block due to poor ratings, a report said late Monday. Licht, who previously served as executive producer on MSNBC's Morning Joe and CBS This Morning, prior to taking CNN's top job, has tapped fellow ex-CBS staffer Ryan Cadro to lead the overhaul, the Daily Beast reported, citing sources familiar with the matter. CNN is in the midst of a transformation led by Licht and Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zaslav, who are pushing the left-leaning network toward a greater emphasis on fact-driven and nonpartisan news coverage. They have their work cut out for them. Licht addressed his plans at an upfront presentation in May, stating the network wanted to reimagine the morning show but provided no further details. Stelter, a frequent foe for conservatives, was forced out last week and his show Reliable Sources was canceled. And also reportedly everyone that was part of the show lost their jobs. Hmm. As the Post reported, CNN nixed the program as it prepares to unveil a refreshed Sunday lineup that includes Who's Talking with Chris Wallace, who was formerly of Fox News. Interesting. Network insiders told the Daily Beast that CNN staffers cannot shake the feeling that John Malone, an influential shareholder and board member at Warner Brothers Discovery, played a role in Stelter's exit. Last week, Malone admitted that he wanted CNN to be more centrist, even as he denied any involvement in Stelter's demise. But the outlet reported that multiple current and former staffers fear that Malone is indirectly dictating an agenda that is being carried out by Licht. Speculation about Malone's potential involvement has swirled for days, with one guest on Seltzer's final show at CNN going as far as to float the possibility in front of the outgoing anchor. The report noted that Stelter's exit from CNN after a nearly decade-long run was set to be revealed in an NPR story last week. But the news leaked early with multiple outlets receiving tips that he was being ousted. Additionally, fellow left-leaning anchors Don Lamont <laughs> and Jim Acosta, also vocal critics of the conservative agenda, are said to be safe from dismissal for the time being. So I don't know how you can get back to center with the idea that you're going to keep Jim Acosta and Don Lemon uh Clearly, when anyone thinks about partisan hacks, you know, being at CNN, those names have to come out. Um, you know, that'd be like, you know, trying to clean up MSNBC and, well, I won't even go there. Left-leaning anchors Don Lamon and Jim Acosta, safe for the moment. We don't comment on speculation, a CNN spokesperson told The Post. In a meeting last week, Licht warned CNN staffers to expect more changes at the network in the days ahead. This is a time of change, and I know that it's unsettling, Licht said. There will be more changes, and you might not understand it or like it all, he added. <laughs> so, who do you think's next? I mean, we can speculate all you want, but maybe we should uh, start a betting pool and see see what we, we find, who's, who's the best judge of this. I... I Seriously believe that at some point Don Lemon and Jim Acosta will have to go if Malone is from the sidelines saying that he wants to go back to center it would only make sense that you get rid of all the partisan shows that try to portray themselves as factual and I guess just leave a comment leave a leave a post let us know what you think who who you think will be next uh, do you think there's more than just those two that need to exit? Is it too ingrained in CNN that it needs to be completely reformed? You know, what's what's the next step here? CNN had you know, Chris Cuomo. They had CNN Plus go down. Uh, they're on the way to completely overturning what they've they've had over the years. And where can this go? can only be good to, to get rid of some of these people at least at the very least sends a message to the remaining people that they need to be more careful with their reporting and try to be appear to be nonpartisan and get their politics a little more in line with 
you know, let's find out the facts no matter which side we're reporting on. So we'll see. Again, leave your comments in the bottom. Like and subscribe. Thank you for stopping by.